So 16 days after the operation and I'm still having problems with this left leg, the quadricep muscle's not working properly. So when I'm doing my exercises, I'm not able to, to lift my leg up as much as I can with this, this right leg. So when I'm trying to, to do my exercise, I'm using this band here. And what I do is I just trying to engage that leg and that's about as high as I can get it normally. And then I lift it that little bit more and then just hold it. It's engaging the quadricep muscles here but it's given me enough power to, to, to try and get some more effort into this muscle. And then if I let go, I can pretty much hold it there and then come back down. So it's all in this area here. So after the operation, it's still giving me some, some problems. It's getting there. 16 days ago, I wasn't able to lift that leg at all. So you can see by the setup I've got, um, I'm back home now. Because of this quadricep muscle, I'm not able to go up the stairs or use stairs, so I've had to convert the living room. My wife did it all for me before I came home, but you can see, looking around the living room, I've got a double bed down in the, the, the living room space itself. We've got a chair that gives us access to the to sitting up uh, with a, one of these pull-in tables. I haven't been on the city at all. It's too low for me to get up and down. And then through this door here, We've got a downstairs toilet with a setup of a commode sitting on top of it. So it, it's easy for me. I could get in and out that door. Probably the, the furthest I've been able to walk is maybe 50 metres uh, there and back. So 100 metres in total every day. I'm trying to do my exercise. I do these inner leg raises with this uh, bolster here to try and do that. And we take this off. I've got my, my other leg raise where I'm managing to lift this leg up, hold it for five seconds and do that and bring it back down again. So I do 10 of them. And then I swap that to the other side. Now when I'm doing it on the other side, it's still a bit of a problem because I can engage this leg, but it's not quite right. So I can get it up and that's massive effort to get it into that position there and I'm trying to hold that for five seconds and bring it down and my, my idea is I want to get a proper straight leg raise Think toes facing back the way and back up but I'm just not able to engage that leg at all so since I've been back home um, I've managed to get my staples out got the staples out on day 12 there was 48 in total of them and Pretty much from coming out of hospital, it's just getting into this routine of doing as many of these exercises. Ideally, you want to be doing it three times a day. You're doing the, the bent knee and bring the knee back and then forcing this knee back down into the, the bed itself. And I'm doing it with this other knee as well. Now, my ability to bend is actually not too bad. I, I'd be quite good at being able to do that. Again, because of the left leg not working uh, as effectively as the other one, what I'll tend to do is do this, bring it up to this point here, and then I'll use that strap to, to bring it that little bit further back and just sit with it for a couple of seconds, just to, to I suppose, get a bigger bend on the, the knee itself. And I've been working really hard on this left leg. I've also got a knee slider, which I'll show you in a second when I'm sitting in the chair. But... All in all, I think I'm probably ahead of where I expected to be at this point. Uh, 16 days post-op, I'm on top of the pain. One of the big things they keep on telling you is make sure you take your medication. And I found that out. I was going from the chair to the bed, feeling sore. So I was trying to lie on the bed to try and relieve the pain, when actually I should have just been taking painkillers. And now that I'm back on top of my painkillers and I've got the right level of medication, then it it makes life a whole lot easier. I'm more inclined to stand up and go to the toilet. I'm more inclined to go out and go for a walk. Whereas before I was kind of limiting myself to, I won't get out of bed until I really need to get out of bed because it was so sore. And when you're in hospital, the occupational therapists come round and they assess the height of all your tables and chairs and they make sure that before you leave the hospital, you can achieve that. Now I'd worked really hard on, I think 19 centimetres, but when I got back to here, very soft mattress, what they don't or what you don't realise is that when you push down in the mattress, that suddenly comes down to about 12 or 
15 centimetres. So again, it's quite hard working on those levels. And I would say for the first few days of being back home, that was probably the biggest thing. And it goes right through the centre of your kneecaps. But now I'm getting used to it. Now I've got all my medication right. Then to be honest, when I'm on top of my meds, I can get out and walk about no problem whatsoever. And it's not that painful. Generally, I've been using a lot of ice. I've got one of these cryo cuffs, uh, the air cast ones. And that's my saviour. Anytime I get sore, anytime I feel as if I'm getting a bit achy, then I get that ice on there. And you can see from my knees at the moment that the swelling is actually reasonably under control at the moment. Now, the more I get up and the more I engage that, then probably the more the, the swelling is going to start to come back. But for the moment, day 16 post-op, I'm feeling good and um, I'm getting there. Thank you. Bye. I'm feeling good and I'm getting there. Thank you. Bye.